got to be a lot more fun for you as a guy in the secondary to face, you know, elite quarterbacks because it's an opportunity to prove yourself, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely. It's always an opportunity. I mean, every week's an opportunity, mm -hmm. even against, like, I guess you say anybody, any QB we play, it's an opportunity to prove yourself. I mean, every week is a new test, so, yeah. But an interception against Drake May has got to mean a little bit more than, you know, Wofford, right? Uh, uh, no, nah, not personally because I can have – it's just an interception, an interception. It's another stat to me, so it's another play. It's another play to the highlight tape. It's another play every year. I mean, How did it feel moving from uh, strong safety to free safety last weekend against West Virginia? Uh, it's not really a big deal to me. It's not really a big change. My coach, they prepared me to um, play both. And I feel like I can play both. So it, just, it was just a normal game time switch, ready to do whatever, whatever's asked for me. What's it like to watch video of a Drake May when you get prepared to play him? What's he do really well? Uh, he does a lot of things really well. I mean, he's a good player, you know, but we got good players too, so... We always come in just ready to learn our opposition every week, not just this week is not nothing differently. Mm -hmm. We come in to learn the opposition, learn how he throws, his tendencies and stuff. And we're ready to um, face the talent Saturday. What are you looking for? You're, you're a guy who you love watching the game film. We've heard that. Mm -hmm. What are you breaking down specifically when you watch a quarterback like Drake? Before you answer that, you want to make sure we don't give away any trade secrets. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> more, more just like when, you, when you're playing a quarterback, that can, is clearly going to be at the next level. Mm. What tendencies are you looking for these for these elite guys that you face? Uh, I feel like I just look at the, the key common things, throw in motion. I see what, what kind of th footballs he can make, what kind of throws he can make on the field, if he can make every throw, if he can't make every throw, you know. I just look for the same thing every week out of every quarterback, you know, same thing. What was it like playing with uh, Donovan, who got his first start last week? Uh, Donovan, yeah, it was, it was fun playing with Donovan. I mean, it's fun playing with all our safeties, though. PJ, Steph, Don, it's fun playing with all our safeties. I mean, but Don, he had a great start last week, and hopefully he just keep going. Have you seen many guys make 18 tackles? In the <laughs> <before>? <laughs> no, not really, but that was a great game for him, and um, he's going to keep getting better. You know, that was only his first start. That's the crazy part, 18 tackles your first start, so he's going to keep getting better. He has more to keep going, too. Corey? Okay. Did you feel like every play you look down and like, oh. Yeah, I, you know, you can hear it on the Jumbotron, Donovan Millen. I was, I was happy for him, though. I was happy for him to have a great game. Corey talked about how you can kind of recognize his wrestling background. In yeah, the way that do, do you see that? In oh, the yeah, yeah. You could tell all the time he's a wrestler, just how he grabs his legs and suplexes some people and stuff. You could tell he was a wrestler in his background. So, like, wrestlers traditionally, like, they're guys who, you know, if you're friends with a wrestler, they always want to, like, wrestle you off. <laughs> is he like that, too? Or nah, <laughs> nah, I'm more of a chill guy. He like to um, chill, just talk laid back. <laughs> One and two doesn't happen around here very often. What's the, the tenor, the mood of the team right now? What'd you say again? What's the mood of the team right now after one and two? Um, I think we're just ready to work. I mean, every day, every week is a new week. You know, we know what happened the last two weeks. We fell short of our goal, but it's a new week regardless. We got to come in ready to work, put our head down, and get back to that one and oh schedule. Hope we come back one and oh next week. You've been around here when this, this team, you know, has suffered some ugly losses in the past. Do, mm -hmm. do you think this program plays better when it's pissed off? Uh... I feel like we just got the right guys that had the right mentality to you know to keep pushing through that this is not the end of our season. This is just the start. I know we just keep going, we just keep running. I just think that's our mentality every time. You had the, the, the start in the Sun Bowl, um, mm -hmm. but now you've made three starts in a row You know this season. Are, are you pretty comfortable out there? you feel like it's, it's nothing new for you now? Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like I started to get comfortable halfway through the Sun Bowl too. You know, it just, at the end of the day, I'm a football guy. I play football, so all that nerves and stuff, it go out the window after the first play with me. It's just football. The same thing I was playing when I was a little kid, high school. It's just football to me. Your secondary is made up of a motivated group of guys. Mm -hmm. Do they? Do you get a sense that some of those guys are looking back at what happened last year and it gives you a little bit more of a chip on your shoulder that, hey, we, we want to get our payback against North Carolina? Uh, honestly, I think we just do that every week. We think we want to take advantage of every quarterback we play, every face. Like, yeah, Jake May had a good game last year against us, but that's last year. It's also a new year. It's also a new week, a new opponent. So. Time to face, time to face us. It's like we gotta face them. Anything final before we let this gentleman get to lunch? Yeah, one last thing. Just on Saturday night, they had to shuffle the linebackers around a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, how does that change, you know, for you guys in the, you know, at safety when you're kind of moving around, chains moving inside, outside, and different outside linebackers? I mean, how, what, how does that affect you, what you guys do in the back? Uh, not too much. I mean, you just gotta know who you're working with though, too, and that comes from practice, from spring ball we have, from fall camp. So we, we're comfortable with every linebacker we got whoever the rotation is, whoever the guy is on the field with me at the time, I'm just comfortable with all, all of them.